This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm here in Boston at the Astro Meeting. I'm speaking with Dr. Tim Whalen of McMaster University in Hamilton, Canada. Dr. Whalen is presenting data on a randomized controlled trial of accelerated radiation in women with early stage breast cancer. Dr. Whalen, what, uh, what did you do? What did you find? We did a large study. We looked at over 1,200 women, randomized them to receive the shorter accelerated therapy versus a more standard, longer therapy. The shorter therapy was for three weeks. The longer therapy was for five weeks. And we followed them for over uh, 12 years. And we found that the risk of local occurrence was similar between the two treatment arms, but uh, perhaps most relevant was there was no increased toxicity with the shorter therapy so that the vast majority of patients had a good or excellent cosmetic outcome and limited severe radiation morbidity at 10 years. I see. This is a, a, a long follow-up. You're very, uh, in a reasonably large trial. You're confident that these results uh, actually represent what will happen in clinical practice? Yeah, you know, women were followed very regularly uh, in the Canadian healthcare system, and uh, so we were able to capitalize on that. And uh, they were evaluated by clinical trials nurses very carefully during this period of time. So we're very confident about the results. Okay. Should this change clinical practice? I think so. In Canada, we've adopted the shorter therapy. There was some reluctance, I think, uh, in parts of Canada as well, but also particularly in the United States regarding the increased toxicity and the need for further follow-up. But I think now at 12 years, showing no evidence of any increased toxicity, that this therapy is really ready for women uh, in regular practice. Thank you very much, Dr. Whalen. Thank you. I'm Michael Smith. MedPage Today.